So in this video, we're going to look at some continued fractions that represent pi, and in particular, some of the estimations of fractions over the years. So these are four that I've picked out. This one is for a few thousand years ago. This one is a little bit more recent, but it's still hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So let's have a look at these as continued fractions and see what they look like. So 22 over 7, let's look at that. So 22 over 7. So when we're making this into a continued, continued fraction, first thing we do, find out the integer. 22 over 7, that gives us 3. So let's put that in a box. That's an important number. And then the leftover, or remainder, is 1 over 7. So that's that line complete. So now we take our remainder, 1 over 7, and write it as a reciprocal. So 7 over 1. So now, 7 over 1, we know this gives us an integer with remainder 0. So we stop. So therefore we can write 22 over 7 in this manner. So we write 3 plus, and then we do 1 over the next number. So 1 over 7. OK, well, we pretty much knew that from the start. But it's good to get a little insight and how the continued fractions work. Now we're going to look at one a little bit more interesting. OK, 333 divided by 106. So let's work that one out. Well, as we're approximating pi, we can pretty much almost guarantee that this first integer has to be 3. Otherwise, it's not going to be a very good approximation for a start. So we got a 3. And then find out our remainder. So our remainder is going to be 3 times 106 is 318. So therefore, we've got 15 over 106 as our remainder. OK, now that's that line finished. Let's bring this over here as it's reciprocal. So 106 over 15. OK. 106 divided by 15, I know 7 15 is 105, so my integer part will be 7. Again, put that in a box, and then our remainder is 1. So that gives us 1 over 15. Okay, that's this line finished. Now I bring this 15 over here. So 1 over 15 becomes 15 over 1, and straight away we can see 15 is our integer part with 0 left over. So that's the first part completed. So now let's write this as a continued fraction. So this one, 333 over 106, that gives us 3 plus 1 over. Now we're using 7 plus 1 over 15. So that's this in continued fraction format. OK, so now let's try this one. OK, 355 divided by 113. OK, so let's go straight in. So we know our integer is going to be 3. Now we need our remainder. 3 times 113 is 339. So therefore we've got 16 left over. OK, that's that line complete. Let's bring over this reciprocal. So 113 over 16. So... I know 7 16 is 112, so that gives me 7 as an integer, pretty much the same as before, but now I've got 1 16th left over. Okay, bring the reciprocal over here, 16 over 1, we know is 16. So now this one, we can write this in continued fraction format as 3 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 16. So that's this one in continued fraction format. Now, we're going to write these down as approximations of pi. OK, so let's have a look at these decimal approximations so far. 22 over 7, that's approximately 3.142857, and that's recurring, those six decimals. So we know 3.141 is one of the first three digits is the first three digits of our current approximation. What about 333 over 106? Well, we know that is 
3.1441. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer now. We've got a 3.141. So that's looking good now. So that's made an improvement on the third digit already. So what about this 355 over 113? So that then gives us 3.141. Five nine two nine two. So our first five is definitely looking good compared to this one. It's made a big jump from the zero nine to the ninety two. So that's a little bit closer. Now let's have a look at this one. Okay, fifty two thousand one hundred sixty three divided by sixteen thousand six hundred and four. Let's set that up as a continued fraction. So we know. It's definitely going to be a three to start with and then we're going to have a leftover of one six six oh four so if you plug that into your calculator your first leftover is going to be two three five one okay let's bring this one over here as it's reciprocal one six six oh four divided by two three five so that equals Seven, put that into your calculator, that's your first integer there. So put that in a box, and then our remainder will give us 147 out of 2351. Okay, let's stick this over here as a reciprocal 2351 divided by 147. So 2351 divided by 147. So our integer for that is going to be 15. So that's our integer. And then our leftover is going to be 146. So plus 146 out of 147. Okay, so we can see we're coming to the end now of our calculation. So bring the reciprocal over. 147 over 146. Well, that is straight away going to be 1. So that's our integer. And our leftover is going to be 1 over 146. Okay, so last line, when you've got a 1 on top, you know you come to the end. So then our last integer is 146 plus 0. And that's our last line. So now let's write this as a continued fraction and let's see what the decimal looks like. So now we've got 3 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 15, let's get that out a little bit more, 15 plus 1 over 1, but it's not been finished yet, 1 over 146. So that is this number as a continued fraction and as a decimal, so this one is now Let's, uh, let's write it down here as a decimal, give ourselves a bit of space. You've got 3.1415923837. So yeah, we can see this is starting to develop now a lot closer. And then there is other uh, approximations for pi we can use involving the arc tangent, which I can show you in the next video. But this is where we are so far for continued fractions and using the approximations of pi. Okay.